Hi scholars, it's Miss O'Leary. I'm going to read you this story today and then you can read it on your own too if you'd like. Um, so the story we're reading today is How Glooskap Found Summer. And this is based on an Algonquin folktale and it is illustrated by Maria Boris. So it's a Native American folktale. So we're hearing a different story um, about summers. Let's go ahead. Long ago, it grew very cold. Ice and snow covered the land. Fires could not keep people warm, warm and corn could not grow. Glooskap, the leader of the people, had to do something. Glooskap traveled far north. Everywhere he looked was cold and white with snow. He came to a house made of solid ice where a giant named Winter lived. Winter greeted Glooskap and invited him inside his house. Winter began to tell stories of the time when he ruled the earth. Soon, Glooskap fell asleep under Winter's spell. But Glooskap's messenger, Tattler, woke him. Wake, Glooskap, said the bird. In the south, you will find a woman who can defeat Winter, said Tattler. Glooskap traveled far to the south. He came to the land where it was warm and sunny. Grass grew and flowers bloomed in the beautiful land. Glooskap saw spirits dancing in a circle. At the center of the circle was Summer. She wore a crown of flowers in her long brown hair. Glooseclap asked Summer to come north with him. She followed him to Winter's house of ice. Winter invited them in and asked them to sit down. He began to tell stories again. But Winter's spells could not capture Summer. She began to chant her own spell and sweat ran, ran down Winter's face. I am stronger than you, said Summer. You must leave this land and thaw your icy breath, she said. Winter wept. His tears became rivers of melted snow and ice. The corn grew. The flowers bloomed again. Summer told Winter, you will have your own land in the north. It will always be winter there. You may come and visit other lands for part of the year, but in the spring, I will drive you out. Since that day, winter has ruled for part of the year, but every spring, summer drives him away. Sometimes it seems as if winter will never end, but summer is stronger than winter. Spring will always come. So that was a Native American story and how they think about winter, spring, and summer. It's interesting to learn different cultures, different stories. So I hope you enjoyed that book. Um, and then you can answer some questions about it too, if you'd like. Or you can read the story to somebody in your house.